Hey, what is happening? Welcome back to The Past is Alive. Thank you all for tuning in as we are joined once again tonight for the latest episode of Turn Back the Clock Tuesday featuring none other than 1999 Upper Deck SPX. This is a box that I've been wanting to open for quite a while. Any kind of SPX, actually. It was a pretty premium product back in 1999 when these came out. These were $6 a pack, so it was way out of my budget. And not to mention, I was not even collecting in 1999. So... Tonight I'm going to experience these for the first time with some of you guys, and I decided to film this video standard and premiere it just due to the fact that there's not a whole lot of cards in this box. We have three cards per pack, and there's only 18 packs in this tattered and war-torn box. Looks like it got jumped in a back alley somewhere, but I saw this on eBay and I had to jump on it because these are pretty hard to track down for boxes of these. I think this is the third one that sold on eBay uh, this year so far. So and it was a pretty decent price, so I had to grab it up. Not to mention, these cards are pretty thick card stock, so I think that they will be okay as far as overall condition. So, tonight, we are primarily looking for game use memorabilia. Winning materials is the insert set. The jersey, bat, combo cards, 500 club cards, 120 cards in the base set. And the first 10 are Maguire subset cards. The next 70 are Veterans. And the final 40 cards are rookies and prospects. They're each numbered to 1999. J.D. Drew and Gabe Kapler are signing all of their 1999 cards. So they're all short prints. And I'm sure we'll probably see some of those tonight. But primarily looking for uh, those other insert cards. 1999 wasn't a great year for rookies. You have CC Sabathia, Alfonso Soriano in different sets. Primarily like traded sets. Nothing too crazy to look out for in 1999 SPX. So... Without further ado, let's get down to it. We have some new participants in tonight's break, but how we're going to do this, we have 18 packs total, obviously. Uh, you can't divide 18 by 4, so the first two off the top we're going to skim, and we are going to uh, do a wheel names for these later on after we open all the packs. So we'll put these off to the side for the time being, and we will get down to the first stack. The first four packs are going to go to Chance E. Chance E is uh, first break with me so good luck to you chance we'll push this tattered box off to the side i noticed the seven dollar price tag on there i wasn't sure if um that was per pack or if someone got this box for seven bucks i bought this off ebay so more power to them they bought the whole box for seven bucks it's a pretty good deal but the first four we got the kid on top of the pack here and a bunch of tiny odds we will get down to it good luck to you chance let's hope we can find you something good in here And uh, right off the bat, we have Larry Walker. Very nice, sleek looking cards, especially for 1999. Lots of shine to these. Hall of Famer Larry Walker starting things off. Seems like they're in good condition. Walker, now Nomar Garcia Parra. There's a look at the back, the bullseye on Nomar's head. <laughs> That's kind of interesting for design. And. Doug Glanville to end the first pack out. Was never really hyped on Doug Glanville, and I don't really know anyone that was. Maybe Phillies fans, but not somebody that I particularly PC. The next pack up. So this is why I didn't do this video live, because this is going to go pretty quickly. There's the big cat for Corey on the back of this pack. Here's Vladdy Guerrero Sr. Very nice. And we got a lot of inserts to look for. I think the... Uh, the game used relics, the winning materials, are 1 in 251 packs, so only 18 cards are box. you got to buy a bunch of boxes of these to pull those, but uh, Ripken is definitely a nice one, too. Seeing some nice names so far in the first stack, at least. And there is Andres Galarraga to finalize the second pack, the first stack. As always, I'm constantly looking for new ideas and boxes to rip. I was hoping to get more than one of these, but like I said... These are pretty uh, pretty tough to track down these days. So Jeff Bagwell starting this next pack off. So you're getting a lot of big names here, Chance, in your first uh, break with me. JT Snow. I would not have been as hyped on this one in 1999 as I would have been in 1993. And we finished this pack with Mark Grace. Looks like someone took a hatchet to the top of him. So that kind of stinks. I know uh, Chris Lockhart is in this break, too, and he's a Mark Grace collector, but... Kind of actually, you know what? I thought I was scraping off there, but I'm just scraping off more of the cards. So I can try to send you another Mark Grace 
in replacement of that one chance. Final pack for chance. Another another Larry Walker. Hopefully it's not the exact same pack. Another Kyle Ripken, which I'm not going to complain about. And Wade Boggs. That's a hell of a pack. Ripken, Larry Walker, and Wade Boggs. No inserts, but a bunch of stars and Hall of Famers. So Chance, thank you very much for your first break. I hope you like some of those players and PC some of them even. Uh, next up we go to Chris Lockhart. I decided to do it this way, bottom left. Typically I go and rotate, but we'll do it this way. It just makes it a little easier. And Chris, if we find a more grace, hopefully it is not torn up like that last one. Another Galarraga in this pack. And we start things off with Kerry Wood. Not a bad one there at all. Move on. I thought that was Andrew Jones for a second. The back of the car was nearly identical to Galarraga, so that's pretty awesome. Not too shabby there. I'd rather have the Jones and the Galarraga personally. Pack number two for Chris. Looks like we have an insert card. What is it going to be? It's a Juan Gonzalez. Whoa, look at this. Roberto Alomar. Insert card comes out. PS10. It's a pretty freaking sweet looking insert card, though. I have never seen those before. Very nice. You know what set this is from? Premier Stars, I guess. So the odds of pulling Premier Stars, it seemed to be 1 in 17 packs, about 1 per box. So that really sucks the fun out of the rest of this box. Hopefully not, but that is a pretty good-looking card. I do like that. Albert Bell, and what do we have here? We have, I guess it's not an, is it an insert card? These are tough to read. Dominance. This is also an insert, actually, 1 in 17 packs, so please don't go anywhere. <laughs> There's probably more good inserts on the way. One per box of these as well. Juan Gonzalez looking real pissed off on the back of this insert card. Not as fancy as that Robbie Alomar, but we will take it. One gone. And that's only a second pack in on this particular stack. Packs are shredding up. I'm going to try to do these carefully so I can keep a few wrappers, as you know I like to do. Ken Caminetti starts this one off. And Raul Mondesi for our buddy Mining for Mondesi's. And Jose Guillen. I was definitely real stoked on him around 1996. Final pack for Chris. Two inserts so far of four packs. Look at that. Big Poppy. That's pretty awesome. Early on in his career. And the Big Hurt in the same pack. Well, this is going to be a pretty epic pack. Big Hurt, Chipper Jones, and Big Poppy. It's a nice way to end that stack. Very nice. Not a bad box at all so far. And we move on to Bruce S. This is Bruce's first rip with me as well. So the next four we're going to Bruce. And then we will raffle off the final two packs up there. So... Not exactly sure who Bruce collects, but let's try to find you winning materials. Or some of these other nice inserts we haven't seen yet. Let's see Larry Sutton on the back of this pack. Jose Cruz Jr. I've been so stoked on that <laughs> as a kid. Remember when his rookie card? Him and Travis Lee both. Sort of in the ultimate pack back then. Maybe not in 1999, but in 97, Travis Lee's and Jose Cruz Jr. rookie cards were like 50 bucks. And I was rich as a kid. Simpler times, indeed. So first pack in for Bruce. Nothing too exciting, except, except some reminiscing. Jose Cruz Jr. again. That puts him on the watch list. Vinny Castilla and Rondell White to finish out that pack. On to pack number three. Let's keep the good pulls coming. There's Fernando Tatis. Start off with a Lofton. Pedro Martinez is a nice one. And there is Tatis. I like that Pedro. Final pack for Bruce. Fingers crossed. We're going to find something nice in here. Wade Boggs. Is it going to be a repeat of that from the last stack? Sosa starting things off this time around. Greg Vaughn. 
and there is the bogs. I'm going to check to make sure. From what I've seen of these, I believe that the the prospects are numbered on the front. We haven't really seen a whole lot of prospects. We're seeing a lot of veterans. So the second or the third stack is already gone past. It just goes entirely too quick. Nicholas West. Our buddy Nick West is wrapping the box up. This thing is pretty beat up. It'll still go in my empty box collection regardless. So Nick, let's find you something nice. Starting things off with BG on the back of this next pack. Burnett's AJ Hinch. Is that one going to be numbered? Doesn't appear to be. And there is the Biggio. Super nice looking cards, though. Super nice. I don't know if I would have paid six bucks a pack for them if I collected back in 99 for three cards. But still nice nonetheless. And Bagwell starting this pack off. Greg Vaughn once again. And we... No inserts in pack number two. On to number three. Tony Clark. Travis Lee once again. And Mike Caruso. Also not numbered. So we're not pulling any of these short prints at all. At least I don't see a number on there anywhere. So I'm partially blind. Dropping things left and right. But no numbers on that one. Final pack of this rip. Except for the bonus packs. Fingers crossed for game use relic of some kind. Jim Tomey. Not seen that one yet. I have a white corner on this one. Big Mac. This is the first card of the set. From the 10 card Maguire subset. It's a pretty cool one. And we finish it out with Mark Kotze. That takes care of the first 16 packs. That means the final two. We will go to the Wheel of Names. Alright, so Wheel of Names website was being really janky. So I'm using this ghetto pickerwheel.com. Maybe it's better than Wheel of Names. I don't know. But we have all four participants in the... Uh, the pool here, Chansey, Chris L, Bruce S, and Nicholas West. I'm going to spin this, and uh, we'll see who gets the first pack. So, I'm not going to be any audio on this. So, the first pack is going to go to, looks like Chris L. You got the first pack. So, I'm going to remove you from the next one, and we'll rip this, and then we will decide who gets the final pack. Rondell White shillings. The collation is not very great on this. We got Big Mac, and that is part of the base set, not the subset. And another Big Mac, back to back, Max, the first card of the set again. Just saw that one. And Rondell White, and that is going to go to Chris L. Put that off to the side here in his stack. And we will see who gets the very last pack of the Eve. So, final pack. Is going to looks like it's gonna be Nick West. Nick West gets the last pack. Let's see what we can find in here. Mike Musina, that's a new face. Open for an insert card. Johnny Damon start things off. I don't think we're gonna get that lucky though. Vinny Castilla. And there is the moose. Mike Musina. So it doesn't look like we got any numbered cards whatsoever. I mean, we got a bunch of stars and Hall of Famers. Uh, definitely a nice design. Collation could be uh, a little bit better, but all in all, I think the other boxes sold on eBay for like around 150 bucks. I was I was able to get this for like 120 somewhere around there, um, but might be worth to pick it up. You can find autos, relics, other stuff, but um, definitely a risky take with only three cards for a pack. But like I would say, drop me a comment down below. Let me know like different boxes you'd like to see open. I'd like to get more boxes and potentially do two to three boxes, uh, some lower value stuff, and uh, get more participants involved in those and maybe even chasing after some rare inserts or things along the line. So always open for suggestions. Drop them down below. I appreciate you guys for watching. I will hopefully have a bunch of videos for you guys this week. So thanks again, everybody. I'll see you all tomorrow night.